This is On The Rock Sassy Movie News, your weekly Hollywood dish from the gay perspective. Who got cast, who got fired, what movie's coming next, who broke up with who? You know, the important stuff. Grab the popcorn and let's get started. Well, hello, hello, hello. This is your On The Rocks Movie News brought to you by Straw Hut Media and Out At Dot TV. I'm your host, Alexander Rodriguez, bringing you the sassiest and tipsiest, the top and the bottom movie news. All right, here's the latest Hollywood tea. Russell Crowe has been added to the cast of the upcoming Thor movie in a surprise role. He said, thank you very much for casting him. It's been a long, long, long time since he's been in a hit. Let's just hope he's not singing. Talk about being lay miserable in the theater. Okay, early review for Godzilla vs. Kong. Reviews are coming out and saying it's the best action uh, sequence or movie, whatever, for the franchise ever. But the human characters are lacking. Uh, it's called Godzilla vs. Kong. What were they expecting? Street vs. Blanchett? In other big overblown CGI with no real story news, Transformers is getting a new movie, but it's not based on the main franchise. It will be a spin-off. Spin-off? How about fuck off? No more Transformers! We're done! Uh, Sebastian St Stan says that his co-star in Disney's Falcon and the Winter Soldier, Anthony McKenzie, should get the title of America's Ass, not Chris Evans' Captain America. Uh, how would he know, by the way? And can that please be a Marvel movie? Avengers, Battle of the Asses. Maybe then I would actually want to see a Marvel film. Mm -hmm. Speaking of bottoms, Harry Potter's Matthew Lewis, a.k.a. Neville Longbottom, says that he is frustrated that he's still being associated with that character. Uh, number one, how are you enjoying those residuals? Your movies are on every goddamn time. I turn on sci-fi. Don't complain. Number two, I'd be more frustrated that my character's name was Longbottom in the first place. How about cute Perky Bottom? I'll play that character. Okay, let's go back to Captain America's ass. Ah, gay musical theater nerds, get out a box of Kleenex for this one. You'll need it for many different reasons. Did you know that a movie version, a new version of Little Shop of Horrors is in the works? Um, it's stalled due to budgetary obstacles, but is planned to feature Chris Evans as the dentist, Taryn Egerton as Seymour, and Scarlett Johansson as Audrey. And Chris Evans really wants the movie to be made, so he's telling his fans to make some noise so that they fund the film and finally get it made. Uh, Chris, I donate to a GoFundMe for the movie if you release some more nudes. Just saying. That's a big shot of horrors. Uh, did you see the new Mountain Dew commercial with Gizmo from Gremlins reprising his role? They are releasing a limited edition Gizmo doll uh, because of the huge fan response for $300. Uh, the U.S. is still waiting for a stimulus. We can't even afford the $3 bottle of Dew. Uh, but please make uh, the new Gremlins movie. I want to see that. It was revealed that Sylvester Stallone is the voice of Shark King in the new Suicide Squad movie. Have you heard Sylvester Stallone speak lately? He's so full of Botox and lip fillers, you can't even understand him. He's like, oh, we're not Rocky, oh, we're not Rambo, raw shark. Poor guy. Uh, and he's just the voice? Hmm. Who cast that one? Uh, Comic-Con is finally back and we'll have an in-person convention during Thanksgiving weekend. Now all the nerds will have an excuse to not be at the dinner table so they don't have to answer why they're still living in their mom's basement. Boop. Captain Marvel 2 will start shooting next month. Why? Didn't she already save the universe as we know it? What's more to do? I hope it's when she gets a haircut. Girl, you can go back to the salons now. Did you see her last haircut? Wow. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, there's a new Bewitched movie coming along. It will not be like the mess with Will Ferrell and Nicole Kidman. It will actually be based on the original TV show. Hey, since we're doing multicultural casting, how about Uncle Arthur as a husky Latino? Oh, Sam. Ma. That was my Paul Lind impression. Uh, most of you are too young to even know who Paul Lind was. Look it up! He was gay before Jesus was born. Okay, here's a little behind-the-scenes celeb gossip to leave you with. Apparently, Seth Rogen and Nicolas Cage do not get along. Nicolas Cage kept pitching weird character ideas to Seth for the Green Hornet, um, and they said, no thanks, twice. <laughs> Uh, but then Nicole, or Nicole, ah, that's a different movie. Nicholas Cage accused Seth of giving character ideas to James Franco for the film Spring Breakers. Um, really? Come on. Nicholas Cage, spend less time worrying about uh, Seth Rogen and more time on your shift at Hobby Lobby. Rent's not going to pay itself, Nicholas Cage. That has been our On the Rocks movie news. I'm Alexander Rodriguez. Check out my show, On the Rocks, where celebrities and cocktails mix on Apple TV, Roku, and Amazon Fire TV on the Outat.tv app. Uh, until next time, stay healthy, stay sexy, and we'll see you at the movies.